Actis first uh, developed multifoils in 1980. The, the basic idea came out of the space program from scientists at Toulouse University. Initially it was mainly used for keeping heat out in warm climates, but now it's mainly used in, in colder climates as thermal insulation. It's gone through various different guises and we now have a Trisso Super 10, which is a 30 mil, 19 layer multifoil product and is the equivalent of 210 mil mineral wool or about 120 mil foam board in a solid sheet. We've been selling in the UK since 1997 and at the moment we're being installed in Dandridge's mill. One of the main criteria they, they used was that the development be eco-friendly. Now, Trisso Super 10 has a very light environmental footprint. There's very little heat used in the production and we also manufacture all the component parts ourselves where we can control that process. We're currently going for ISO 14001, which is a measure of your environmental impact. What we've done is we've taken a, one of, a very period and listed building. Um, it's a wonderful 1820 silk mill and due to the nature of the building, it's, uh, it's inherent with, with holes and, and, and le leaks, I suppose, as they are. We uh, are reaching unprecedented U-values with our insulation and work using that as a base for our low-carbon projects. In this, we are using the, uh, the mill source, the, streams, the, the water power and the hydropower to generate our electricity. We're also using hydrothermal power, generating 100% of our heating in the building. And, um, and of course, in order to, to use these efficiently, we need to have top quality insulation all, all the way throughout. Really, this is the core of the project and the centre for all my ideas. You can really feel the power going underneath us. And from this, we realised that there was definitely some power that we could harness here. What we're doing is we're using one of the first Archimedean hydro screws in the country. And this is like a giant corkscrew, which will sit in the river. And as the water flows down the length of this, it will magically turn it almost. It looks fantastic, generating the power that we need to power the project. And of course, this is all carefully controlled and, and insulated by the access insulation that we're using. In order to use this hydrothermal and these renewable sources effectively, the insulation within the building needs to be top quality, it needs to be the best. And we have exceeded the building regulations for our U values by more than 25%. By doing this, it gives us a foundation on which we can work with, and we've been able to go for a low carbon building program grant, which has helped us um, provide the low carbon technologies. One of the main reasons that we've gone for the Tri-ISO Super 10 is due to the space limitations in the building. It's an existing building, so we had to design around the building as opposed to around the materials that we're using. The space limitations have enabled us to gain a fantastic mezzanine floor. So really, up here in the mezzanine area, we have gained so much space that it's actually been possible. Otherwise, without using Tri-ISO insulation, we'd be down another, another 50 or, or really up to 70 mil from here, which due to building regs, they wouldn't have allowed us to come up here. And we've gained all of this wonderful space up here. We managed to take it across into the other side as well. And here we've got this beautiful outdoor terrace following on to uh, another mezzanine on the other side. One of the added benefits, or the, what can I call it, a green bonus, is that we've got underfloor cooling from our, um, by using the river again. With the triaxo axis insulation, with the, you, the, one of the extra benefits that you get with it is the, the, the cooling in the summertime. It really manages to keep the heat out um, by reflection of the, the, the heat from the, from the outside, um, which again will keep a, an overall cool building. It really helps us towards achieving a, an airtightness in the building. Because the product's not cut between the rafters means that we manage to eliminate the thermal bridging. Using the product, we manage to achieve minimal waste and finally, we've been able to achieve our target U values, which is most important for the project. The value of the product is very good. It's helped us all the way. The labor time saved is phenomenal by using this product. The, the usage of natural light in this development has been key to the low carbon approach. By using more natural lights, we're using less electricity to power the lighting. 
in our window reveals, we have sloping window reveals, by using the tri-iso, we've managed to keep the, the width or the, the, the thickness of these window reveals down to a minimum, which has enabled maximum light in, entering into the rooms. Actors have been fantastic. They've treated me very well. They've been always available when I needed to, and the product has always been here absolutely on time. We've had no problems whatsoever.